Here we are back with another one. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a look at the really interesting software which packs a lot of tools which are useful in my opinion. I want to share with you especially one and it's Video Proc Converter. And if the name sounds familiar to you, it's because a few weeks ago we took a look at Video Proc Vlogger, which is a video editing tool, really simple to use. I will leave a link right over here just in case you missed that out. And today we are going to take a look at this one, which has some things that will surprise you, especially on the video conversion and compression side and the features that it has. Now, if you are looking for Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition keys, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where we can find budget and official OM keys. And with the coupon code, you may get Windows 10 Pro at this moment, roughly seven US dollars and Windows 11 at 13 US dollars. So a link down below just in case you want to check that out. And also the link down below for Video Proc Converter, which has a free version, which has a really interesting feature that I believe that it's great, which we can use videos up to five minutes. And you can see all the differences between the free and premium. But if you work with smaller videos, you will be just fine. We tried out Windows and Mac available for all the platforms. Actually, I did test out on my Mac. And I also tested out right over here, but the renderings I did with my RTX 3060, which is a GPU that it's more common uh, instead of the M1 Pro or the M1 Max and so on and so forth. Now, really quickly, this software promises to do a lot of stuff. First of all, it promises to compress videos using GPU and CPU acceleration. It doesn't matter if it's AMD, Nvidia or Mac, it will work on any CPU. It's targeted at videos up to 4K, but it will support 8K, although I don't record 8K and it promises 90% compression ratio. Now, I did test it out and spoiler, a little, little spoiler, it is actually capable of doing more than 90, but there is a catch and I will share that in just a few moments. Besides that, it also has a few tools for basic video editing and also has some tools for advanced video edit, such as image stabilization and a few others that I will share in just a few moments. But video stabilization was the one that captured my attention, which is great. We did review a few days ago this new Sony ZV-1 F and one of the situations is, as you could see, the stabilization of the camera. Now with the video proc converter, we can use that to stabilize that footage or from any other camera. Also interesting, the downloader, which has one feature that you want to know, especially if you use YouTube and you want to download videos at full resolution. And finally, it also records the screen or the web camera that we have. Now the interface, it's really easy. So you can just install on your Mac or your Windows and you will have the same interface that I've got right over here. It will tell us four options. We want to use video, DVD, downloader or recorder. Let's start with the video, which is the one that interests me more for compression and conversion. And once we open that, we will be able to import any video to the inside. And once we have the video right over here, we will have several options. On the top, we will see add video, add folder, add music, clear the library and then on the bottom we'll have the target format which we can select by the most popular the type of videos the type of device that I want to target if I want to turn a video into music and if I want to use the toolbox now the toolbox basically is where we will find more advanced uh, tools like the D shake which is the stabilization tool and we also have denoise merge trim split and so on and so forth so we have a lot of options right over here if we open the options of the video once we select the format that we want then we can select as well some options and we can uh, see right over there we can change the quality we can change the video codec the frame rate resolution audio codex and so on and so forth. So we can do a lot right over here, but I would suggest that here we can keep it simple and just, if we adjust the quality, the software will do everything else for us. So we don't need to worry about, we just need to check which is the limit on the quality that we will not lose image quality, at least on our eyes. And that is great. I will share with you right uh, in a few moments. We also have the edit video option right over here, which has some basic tools to edit uh, video, like rotate left, rotate right, and so on and so forth. The effects, which will 
change the colors, brightness, contrast, and so on and so forth. We can also add subtitles files like us, SRT files and sub files. We can trim the video for the length that we want. We can crop the video as well, and we can add a watermark. And in terms of results, which is the most interesting part in terms of the conversion and compression, because conversion, we can convert basically any video format into any other video format that we have right over here, which is basically are all of them available right now. Now, in terms of the compression, I'm using a file that probably you already know from previous tests, which is a 4K file that has 4.3 gigabytes. Now, I did run three tests, actually more than three, but three that I want to share with you. One of which I did lower the quality to see how much compression and quality I would get. And I was surprised that I was able to get more than 90%, turning a 4.3 gigabytes into 61 megabytes. And that was awesome. But there is a catch. When I did open the file, we do notice a quality loss, which is obvious. It's a huge file and turning it into a really small file, that would be crazy. Now, I do believe that if we lower the resolution, then probably we will maintain that and we could get roughly 60 megabytes without limiting the quality. But that was not the case that I did test. 4K to 4K, 61, the quality forget about. Now, in the more uh, default area, we also tested out and I was able to get the 4.3 gigabytes to 128 megabytes. And the quality is really acceptable. Actually, if I don't put side by side, I will not notice any quality degradation. But when I put side by side, what I do notice, especially on my face, is that the original file has a more sharpened image and that the compressed file is a little bit more soft. It reminds me that Beautify filter that we can find on any app or any phone, which makes our skin a little bit softer. So if you are looking for a filter and you want that type of image, then this will be nice. Now, in terms of the final test, I wanted to use the full quality so that I could get everything. And what we end up with was 300 megabytes from the 4.3 gigabyte file. And in this particular case, you tell me if you can see any difference at all, which is really, really awesome. So you can count on 4.3 to 4.3 gigabytes to 300 megabytes without quality loss, at least at our eyes. Probably we are losing, probably in the show we are losing some data, but that data will not be recognized through our eyes. So will be more than enough if you have a YouTube channel or if you upload videos and so on and so forth and you have a slow internet connection, which is not my case. Fortunately, I can upload files of 4.3 gigabytes and then YouTube will do the compression. But we can also invest on the video proc converter. In particular case, we can have smaller files that we can upload faster or if we want to have our series, our movies on smaller files with great quality so that we don't need to spend so much on space, on storage, then this is also a great option. So the results were really, really nice. Also, the recorder is, I believe, a added value for this software because, in my opinion, this should be only video compression and video conversion, but uh, video proc right over here was able to put all these details, including the recorder, which it is a great tool. We can record our screen, we can record our face if we have a webcam so that we can do streams and so on and so forth. And this is great. I forgot to mention, but if we have a lot of episodes from one series or a lot of movies, what we can do also is to put them on batch and just leave them overnight. And when we wake up, we'll have all the movies converted. Not really sure if I did mention the DVD, but the DVD is able to rip uh, DVD content or Blu-ray content from our own DVDs to a video format that we can put to our hard drive and then use any uh, software to read our multimedia library. And that being said, hope that this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George. This is the Video Proc Converter, which is really interesting as you could see. Link down below for the free trial version so that you can test all the features and then decide for yourself if you need the software or not. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one.